Welcome back. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest, Mr. Simon Say, our tourism expert. It's a very good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us. So let me start by asking you about the recent report that has shown Egypt as still one of the first touristic destinations in the Middle East and North Africa. What are the reasons for this, in your opinion, sir? Well, actually, Egypt has been always one of the best countries to visit. Yes. We have a lot of things to be seen that are considered always top attraction, like, for example, the Museum of Egyptian Antiquities, like the Temple of Karnak, like Cross Muhammad National Park, mm -hmm. the Pyramids of Giza, the Valley of the Kings, Abu Simbel Temple Complex, the Great Pyramids, Luxor as a city and as a temple. N n never forget the Sphinx of Egypt, mm. uh, having an Nile cruise on the River Nile, visiting the Temple of Philae, going to Tiran Island, and more and more. So Egypt, we cannot count as it's a lot of things that are really beautiful to be seen. And all the time, there is animation, there is discoveries. You can go four by four to see the White Desert. You can see a lot of uh, life, uh, city, like the nighttime, in Egypt, going uh, to the opera, going uh, to Khan al Khalili, going to all local markets, having one, all of the good restaurants that we're having, uh, you know, all the bazaars of the country. So, a lot of packages actually yes. uh, cover Egypt to show uh, all of these beauties that we have. You can come as a small group, you can come in private group, you can come in a big group. Everything is available so you can enjoy with your friends and your family. And from here, uh, the revenues of Egypt through the tourism are jumping up. Like, for example, for last year, it has jumped 25.7% compared to the year before. Mm -hmm. And Egypt always welcomes all nationalities. Absolutely. And surprising, we are having more and more uh, Chinese uh, tourists coming to Egypt. Mm -hmm. It's a very big sector that is now coming and a lot of operations and promotions are going to attract more Chinese tour tourists. Mm -hmm. As China relaxed the travel restriction earlier mm -hmm. and resumed group tours to up to 60 countries, many countries are really uh, getting up to welcome the Chinese, including Absolutely. Egypt mm -hmm. that did huge efforts were that and we have to note that our industry is growing uh, with a lot of good decisions locally uh, that we have been taking versus everything uh, you know the tourist is very happy to be here the attraction themselves are always getting ameliorated and we are spending a lot of money to make it to welcome more and more people so facilities offered are uh, excellent. Absolutely. Uh, including still, even the visa entry. Yeah? Yes. Yes. And still with this report, uh, also the Grand Egyptian Museum has already been, uh, you know, cited as one of the best museums, not just in Africa, but the whole world, even before, you know, its official uh, inauguration. How important is this as a testament to uh, this new uh, gem, as we call it, or the Grand Egyptian Museum? Well, that will be for the future, for after the big inauguration, not for the time being. Hmm. Because for the time being, you cannot go unless you have special requests and special ticket and mm -hmm. limited visit. So we don't have people coming for that matter with a big number. As already we cannot receive inside, we are not allowing those big numbers Yet to get in. Yeah, people are already keen, yes. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. but for the future, it will be a main attraction. Absolutely. Especially that it's connected now to the pyramids and connected to the airport. Mm -hmm. As Sphinx Airport in the Giza area has been ready now to receive charters with this area that will bring a lot of people especially to visit things that they didn't see in their previous visits. So which means it will bring those who came before for a second time. And that's a very big advantage mm -hmm. that we don't have always to, to, to seek new clients, yes. but we have a, a repetitors coming back to the country. Absolutely. 
Right. I'd like to thank you very, very much, Mr. Simon Seyra, our tourism expert. Thank you very much, sir, for your time and your insight and for joining us on our edition of Cairo Local Time. Another short break, and we'll be back for more. Stay tuned.